Hey guys, Jamie here and today in Roblox we are playing some more Pokemon Fighters EX as you can see on screen right now. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get Zekrom and Reshiram. So obviously I'm making this video after I made the Shiny Reshiram and Shiny Zekrom video. So if you can see like I've already got Reshiram unlocked level 100. Then if we quickly go and search in Zekrom. I already have Zekrom already done on Shiny Farm is unlocked this level 100. So I've already got them all um, because of, it took me like... Oh, almost a week to be able to get these because the rest of them I got on the like pretty much like the first day that I was started to hunting started hunting for them. The Zekrom low I got like four days after the rest of them. So I spent like five days hunting for Zekrom. Kind of insane. But anyway, today, in the today's video I'm gonna be showing you exactly where to get these legendaries. So if you're just spawning as a trainer, obviously you don't need to be a trainer to go obtain them, but just showing you like from the spawn for a way to go. But I guess we'll show off the um restaurant first. So to get Reshiram all you want to do is go to the volcano and um, there's going to be a town behind the volcano um, where you can do the Misty quest. So also the volcano is going to be a town behind here. So this is where Reshiram can spawn. It can spawn anywhere in this little town over here. Um, obviously, it's, I think it mainly spawns in between the Heatran and the Moltres, but it can just pretty much like spawn anywhere in this little town. Also with the Misty quest, if you haven't already done that there. Is that and I'm pretty sure the Moonstone is in here as well, but pretty cool. Uh, there is the Reshiram Low. Um, I'll quickly show you a cl quick clip of um, me actually obtaining it because I did record that part. Okay, then, so a Reshiram just spawned, and like I said at the first part, which I'm actually recording this, I'm recording me finding the legendaries before I do the little video clip before this, but it should work out, and I'm kind of lagging, so I'm just quickly close my um, internet browser. When, when, not internet browser, uh, Firefox. Anyway, so the restroom spawns over here, like I mentioned, so here is the restroom. I'll quickly give it like a quick lockdown since I was way, I was way for the summon, but here is the almighty restroom. Also, it is a dragon fire type, because the Zekrom is a dragon electric type. So if we quickly become the Reshiram, Reshiram, go come here. So we get a level 30, also we have the shiny in the normal form. There probably will be a reflective form, but also we have to use the reflective Ditto or the reflective view to get it. So there we go. Anyway, we have Fifang as, Fifang, Dragon, Rage, Ancient Power, and Flamethrower as our first moves. Let's go quick have a look, see what moves we can learn, because I'm pretty sure there's like blue fire. Oh, well, I can't remember, exactly remember like, off the top of my head, but I'm pretty sure there's other moves that they're meant to learn. But wait, is the tail glowing? Or is it because it's underwater? Wait, no. It's white, it's like silver now, so does it change to reds? Oh my gosh, it does! This is so cool! I'm guessing that the Zekrom does the exact same one, but for, but for blue. This actually looks really good. But yeah, also the Reshiram and Zekrom. I'm pretty sure they're meant to be like Yin, yin and Yang dragons, so like one's black, one's white. So sort of stuff like the symbol. Let's have a look see what moves it gets. I'm pretty sure there's like, um, what's it called? Blue Flare, that's what it is. Blue Fire, I was close enough. Hyper Voice in the game, Outrage in the game. So we get Fire Blast, Dragon Pulse as our best move. I'd probably say Ancient Power and then Flamethrower. So we don't really have a lot of moves right now, but there is the Reshiram. So anyway, I'll be back in a second again for when we find the Zekrom. And then for the Zekrom, we uh, just go pretty much in the same direction, but we want to go over to the maze area. There actually, I don't think there's actually any Pokemon that spawns in here, except from Zekrom now. Um, I think Zekrom is like the first thing that actually spawns inside of the maze, which is um, pretty cool, obviously. But Zekrom will, I believe, spawn anywhere inside of this maze. I think I actually found my Zekrom like right around here. Also, I have a clip for that, so I'll show you the clip for Zekrom as well, for me obtaining it. Okay, finally Zekrom spawned. If you don't, can't tell, uh, this video is... Oh wait, it's supposed to spawn in here, right? Wait, is that it? <gasps> yes, finally, but if you can't tell, uh, if you don't know, this is actually a few days after the Reshiram. This update came out on Saturday. I think I got the Reshiram on Sunday. Yeah, I probably got on Sunday. Today is Wednesday. I've been looking for this thing for three days. But now that I finally got it, I've got really, really unlucky. Why can't I type? Don't tell me the game just crashed. Okay, there we go. It just took a while to load. I'm gonna say if the game crashed and I actually didn't save that, I'd be so triggered. <laughs> but we have Thunderfang, Thunderfall, Dragon Rage, and Ancient Power. Dragon Rage does the exact same damage. No, I think it always no. Dragon Rage always does 40 hit points of damage. I was thinking of Seismic Toss or 
the ghost type. I, for, I forgot what the ghost type one is. But this will always do 40 hit points of damage, whereas Seismic Toss will um, do the damage of hit points depending on what your level is. So if you're level 50, you'll do 50. If you're level 75, you'll do 75 hit points. If you're level 100, you'll do 100 hit points. Which is also pretty good. Wait, is this thing meant to be like this, or is it meant to go all the way around? I actually don't have any idea. It looks like it's missing a part that's meant to go around it, doesn't it? Not sure if that's like Roblox fault or whatever, but anyway, go have a quick look at the movesets and just see what we have. So Thunderfang, Dragon Rage, Impotent Power, Thunderball, Slash, Dragon Claw, and Bolt Strike is its find all. So that's pretty good, but anyway, there is the Zekram. Yeah, it looks like half of it's missing right now. So I'm guessing it's just probably the server, or maybe it's just Roblox just not uploading these meshes correctly. But there is the Zekrom. So let's have to get Vishram and Zekrom. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and like always, I'll see you guys next time. But yeah, that is like how, pretty much like how to get Zekrom and Vishram. You just have to wait. Uh, obviously, the best method to be able to like hunt for these is VIP servers. I'm in a VIP server right now, as you can see. If I press tab, I can open up the little player menu, and there's no one else in this server except for me, because it is a VIP server. And also, if you have Hooper, is to get that to, uh, I believe you need to get to level 100 or you need to get the Shiner one unlocked. You just pretty much need to like, get, get it high enough level to learn the move um, Summon. I think it's Summon, right? Let me quickly spot spawn as Hooper. Where if you type in Hooper, can it quickly become that? But uh, Yeah, it's called Summon. So we can Summon, we get, we get our dances. So, right, we can do this every 10 to 15 minutes, I think it is. Um, if we get to, yeah, level 100, you can get Summon. Pretty much like the, the best Pokemon in the game is Hooper, so if you haven't got a Hooper, um, definitely just suggest trying to go for Hooper. If not, just keep playing until you get um, Zekrom or Restaurant. but if you get Hooper, it makes it a lot easier to go for any other legendaries in general, and then future legendaries that are in the game, because then you can just go into VIP server and just start spamming someone whenever it's um, available, and then you have the entire server to yourself. But anyway, that's pretty much how to get Reshram and Zekrom. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and hopefully this helps you to know exactly where they are. Like I said, I've already done videos um, showing off the shiny forms of both Zekrom and Reshram. Um, there'll be a link in the description down for the shiny Zekrom video, and the link of that video, there'll be the shiny Reshram video. So hopefully you guys enjoyed, and like always, I'll see you guys next time.